Yeah, at this point. Good. You cheat. Yeah, come on. Don't do it. Don't do it. How, dude, how do you do this? Do oh, no. I'm, I can't do really this. I'm ready. This ain't gonna work. You making this complicated. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on man this your boy joe back with another video joe squad man today um i'm gonna be cutting some hair today i'm just starting to learn how to cut hair man i'm out here in kansas in the middle of nowhere don't have a consistent barber so been watching a lot of videos trying to learn how to cut my own shit but that's neither here nor there so today like i said man we're gonna be cutting some hair um i'm gonna be getting my little studio together man trying to get that together and i thought we was gonna have some some decent weather today so i can bring out the the, the chally you know what i'm saying and uh wash it down get it cleaned up or whatever as you can see, it's a little dusty, a little dirty. That tent is looking good. Um, so yeah, man. Like I was saying, man, I got the clippers right here, man. I gotta get these things. Um, dang, they dirty. Y'all can see that focusing. Don't focus, man. Look at that. So y'all gotta get them things cleaned up. Um, cut some hair today. Hey, man. Time to get up, man. And that's sleeping like he pays bills. to see your haircut. Ooh. Oh, I nicked you right there, bro. You be all right. Be all right. Now, why are you spinning on? <clears throat> Ooh, that boy got that fresh haircut. Look at him. See you, man. I see. I see you. I see you, bro. I did that. Yep, I did it. I did it. I did it. That's right. Come on up here. There you go. Let them see it, Price. Let them see it. Let them see it. Let them see it. Let them see it. Ooh, wee. Ooh, wee. Ooh. Yeah, walk in that line with a lot on my mind I get that money, never dropping a dime I don't hate, never not on my time I put that little red dot on your mind Talking that crime, but a lot of them lying I'm caught on the grind, never get on my grind What is going on, squad? This your boy, Joe And I'm back with another video Um, In this video, man I'm just gonna be talking a little bit about 
some of the differences that I noticed um, between my Charger and my Challenger. Now I've been a Challenger owner most of my Mopar life. I did jump to the Charger when I had the opportunity, um, mainly because it was one of the um, one of the only choices in the scat pack that the dealership had to offer at the time and it was what i test drove and um i really liked the center stick you know the orange was something new that they that they are because they're still doing it um was one of the newer um colors that they came out with when it came to these vehicles so of course i was really impressed with the color and um i went ahead and went with a center stick 2021 Dodge Charger Scat Pack. Um, and I definitely enjoyed uh, the space. Now, I, I really believe that the Challenger and the Charger and, and I guess the interior as far as space for passengers and backseat riders, I really do feel like, man, there isn't much difference. But of course, when you got two back doors that people can get can get in and out of, that's all the difference you need. And, you know, taking the kids to school or having people riding the car with you and people sitting in the back seat, definitely a lot easier. Uh, definitely a lot easier to get in and out of the back seat of the Charger versus a Challenger and you got to, you know, fold the seat up and slide it back and forth you know what i'm saying um so that was a big difference did i enjoy that over the challenger just in the aspect of you know when you got passenger riders you know when it's just me obviously the challenger is going to give you a more sportier feel and look um the challenger just has that unique that unique front fascia, you know what I'm saying? Just that unique vibe, you know, when you see a Challenger, man, you know it's a Challenger. And I feel like a lot more people go with the Charger over the Challenger for whatever reason. Um, you know, maybe maybe it's the driver or passenger convenience. So um, that was one difference that I noticed. Another difference um, that I noticed was my charger and i and it's just my opinion maybe it was just the color that i had but my charger definitely got a lot of head turns you know what i'm saying and maybe it's just me my my charger got a lot of head turns it got a lot of uh you know attention um i haven't had my challenger that long but just i, I just kind of noticed that difference right off the bat going from a charger i mean from a challenger to a charger now when i had my challenger i definitely got compliments but it was it, it felt different about you know it felt a little different when i was in the charger man we would go places and people would you know like flag us down wanting to take pictures i would catch people recording and video in the car you know what i'm saying so um definitely something about the charger that was that that kind of was a little bit more uh got a, got a little bit more attention you know what i'm saying so to speak so um that was one thing i um also noticed that uh the price point right so the price point for the challenger and the charger are a little different um the challenger is a lot cheaper well not a lot but it is cheaper than your charger. So, I mean, you can get into a charger, I mean, a challenger a hell of a lot easier than you can get into a, a challenger. And I actually prefer the challenger over the charger. Like I said, I just like the uniqueness of the challenger, the look. Um, and I love the way the inside of the Challenger feels versus the Charger. The Challenger gives you a more sportier feel. Um, 
and truth be told i can still ride three people in this in this car you know what i'm saying like for real i could really get three people in that back seat um versus like the mustang or the char uh, or the the camaro you know what i'm saying you definitely only you probably ain't even getting two people two backseat riders riders and the camaro and my that's just my opinion um so yeah the price point that's definitely a difference um i'm not sure why that is maybe somebody in the comments man can tell me why that is but i'm not exactly sure why the price point is so different uh, maybe it's four door versus two door you know i definitely thought that the challenger was a lot more popular than the charger but uh something tells me that it isn't like i said i definitely turned more heads with the charger than i did the challenger and they're both the same color but i'm gonna give it some time i'm still it's still it's still early in my ownership of the challenger so i'm gonna give it some time um one of the other things that i noticed about uh differences differences i can't talk today that i noticed between the charger and the challenger is the charger definitely sits a lot lower than the challenger i mean a lot lower and it's crazy because like in the challenger i don't think twice about turning in the parking lots um you know seeing dips in the road um and stuff like that man like the challenger is a more it is more comfortable on the highway in a sense of you know i guess the the height that the challenger sits at the challenger seems to sit at a much more daily drivable height you know the suspension level um you know and it's just it's, it's a difference because my charger I couldn't, I, man, I couldn't turn into certain businesses, um, you know, certain dips, uh, like just any, you know, slight curvature, curvature in the road or little hills or humps, man, the bottom of that charger going to scrape, bro. And it, it scrapes whether you mod, mod it or not. It like, it just naturally scrapes and I, I hated it you know what i'm saying i used to feel like i was tearing it up but in my challenger man it, it have it hasn't scraped one time and i'm hitting a lot of the same areas you know going to a lot of the same locations and spots man i haven't ran into that issue with my challenger so i really enjoy that i can comfortably drive my challenger without thinking or second guessing anything you know what i'm saying uh versus my charger where shit i was thinking about every little thing it was times where i wanted to stop and get food and didn't because the driveway to ramp into the business into the restaurant was just so high that i just knew i was gonna tear my car up you know what i'm saying um and that's probably the one thing if i had to make a hate video on my charger that would be the number one thing i hated about my charger was that man without having the dynamics package you can't really adjust your suspension you know what I'm saying? I couldn't adjust the height of the car. Um, and I just didn't, I really didn't enjoy, pull it here and see if the scat pack's still in here. Yep, they still they still ain't got rid of it. I don't think they're gonna get rid of the scat pack, y'all. I think people uh, really don't like the fact that it doesn't have back seats, man. They got a bow on it for somebody though. Maybe one of y'all come up here and pick it up, man. But yeah, so man, I'm just out taking a quick loop in the Challenger. Wanted to bring y'all a quick video, man. Put some content up for you guys, you know. Um, the work week is starting back up. So that means old Tally gonna be parked in the garage. I think we gonna get our last warm day of the season, which is Wednesday. So I think I'm gonna pull her out get her washed up um and i might drive her to work that day i don't know i'm thinking about it um but anyway man those were some interesting differences between the challenger and the charger 
man let me know in the comment section what you guys' thoughts are about what i had to say if you guys agree or disagree and man let me know which one you guys feel is more popular the challenger or the charger man i'm interested in hearing uh seeing what you guys have to say until next time this your boy joe don't forget to join the squad subscribe to the channel joe squad i'm out